in the past we've had a numerous number of people asking me how do we catch blackfin or what trace to use for a blackfin. As everyone knows, blackfin is one of those sharks that once hooked, jumps, spins and just breaks your tackle. Um, it's earned its name the Tackle Buster just because of that particular reason. He jumps and he spins and he just absolutely destroys a tackle. I'm going to show you how to make a FMJ that is five meters long. You can make it six if you want. But I'm going to show you the basics and you can adjust it to suit your casting style the best. What we require for this is simply minimum 175 pound carbon coated wire, sinker, two big hooks, preferably 11 0. You can use a circle hook, although it does not work as well on a black fin as it does on a raggy. Power swivel number twos, um, we're going to use two of those. I need a solid ring. Some heat shrink just to neaten up the trace afterwards. One or two little crimps. Some nylon. Very simply, what we're going to do is I'm going to make my throw trace, my standard FMJ first. FMJ stands for full metal jacket. So to start making it, 1.5, 1.6. Okay. The easiest way to measure is to know how long your full metal jacket is and that's basically the length that I can throw comfortably. Okay. Tying the hooks basically is exactly the same as what I did previously in our competition slide traces. Very simply, going to take the hook, stick it into the vise, going through the eye from the bottom up wrapping it around twice and coming out the opposite way like that taking my pliers pulling over the loop pull on the tag in first until it becomes tight wrap the wire and pull as hard as you can pinch it so it doesn't move anywhere Cut off the tagging. Okay. To neaten up this trace, I'm going to use a little bit of heat shrink. Just sliding it over that end bit of wire, very untidy. Lighter, or you can use a kettle. That just neatens up the trace a little bit. Second hook, again, just slide it down to suit the size of the bait that you want to throw. And a blackfin loves a big bait, guys. It should be about right. Take my lighter. Wrapping it around six or seven times is up to you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Come through the back. The eye of the hook. Pull tight. Take your lighter again. And you want to just melt the plastic. You don't want to burn the plastic. Easiest way. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a um, crimp. It's going to fit over the wire. Slide the crimp down to about half the length that you normally would throw. So if it's that long, I'm going to take the crimp and just crimp it in place. Like so. So basically, I've crimped it. Now I'm just going to take a bit of heat shrink just to neaten this whole thing up again. Okay. I'm 
then you're gonna slide a bead down. There's the bead onto it. I'm gonna take a number two power swivel, slide that onto it, and then I'm gonna take another bead as well to neaten it up. Then I'm taking my solid ring. I'm gonna tie a figure of eight onto it. There's the figure of eight, sticking fingers in there. Grab a pair of pliers, pull it tight without burning or damaging this wire over here. Knit it, slide it down, stick it in the vise, pull tight, that. Just pinch the actual wire once again and then cut off the tag end as close as I can. So it looks like that. I'm going to grab that piece of heat shrink, slide that up over the knot that we've just made over there. Light it again just to make it neat and tidy again. And that's basically step one of the whole trace already done. Okay, all we have to do now is attach our sinker and our sinker clip. Tying a figure of eight, this time with nylon three times around the finger. Measure the distance. including your dangle that you want to use. So if this is my dangle, so I'll thread it through there, measure the length that I want it to be, so I can actually throw, and that's the length that needs to be. Okay, cut that off. Attaching my sinker clip, again, with the nylon, it's just a figure of eight. And we just attach the sinker clip. The sinker clip then goes on to our dangle. So this guys is your standard FMJ. If I can show you that, that will be your standard FMJ. All that we're going to do now is add step two, which is going to be three meters of wire. And it's very simple to do. meters of wire, take a number two power swivel, like that, go through it and attach it by doing a figure of eight. And then cut off the tag in over here as close as we can. Go. Now, to make the clip for the whole thing, we just take one of our sinker clips that we have, and to do that, we're just going to open it up slightly, like so. We have a pair of side cutters, and we're going to literally just trim it off over here. That piece off, make it a little bit bigger so that our clip comes off when we actually throw. We're taking the back part of it, taking that small swivel off, and we're going to attach the big swivel to it. So we go through the eye, like so. We then take our same pliers again, and all we do is we just bend it back to where it was. Okay. Like that. Now what we do, take the end piece over here and we're going to go through our FMJ that we made. Okay gentlemen, ladies, what I've got here is that solid ring that I made for my FMJ. There's that solid ring. I'm then going to take my 
three meter wire that I've got. I'm gonna take my heat shrink just to keep it nice and neat. Put that on first. Then I'm gonna take the wire through the first solid ring, grab another one, and basically tie that on. So now, figure of eight coming up. Like so. Figure of eight, put your fingers inside there. Pull tight again. Lubricate. And once again, I'm gonna go stick it in the vise. There we go, guys. Just gonna cut off this wire here. Okay, basically I'm taking the heat shrink now over that again and just lightly okay that just neatens that one up again straighten the wire okay now guys what i'm going to do is put the whole thing together what you're going to do with this trace this part over here is going to go into your leader so your leader is going to attach to that part of the actual swivel. You understand? Very simple. Your leader goes on there. That is the loop part, which is the part that's for your That is for your FMJ. Guys, that is for your FMJ. So very simply, that's going to clip onto your FMJ part. Your leader is attached to that. Your FMJ is attached to that. And when you lift it up, I'll show you quickly. Oh. There we go guys, there is a full 4.7 meters of wire that anybody can throw. What happens with it, the minute this hits the water, that comes off, there's the entire length of your trace. Guys, this trace is very simple, it works like a dream. As you can see there, your 1.6 meter wire leader becomes a 4.7 meter wire trace that any black fin that tries to wrap you or roll you has got very little chance of doing thank you